Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a timer in Adobe Premiere Pro. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is just creating this. That'll animate as long as we want it to animate, and it'll just keep going. I've created these two god-awfully colors next to each other. They're really bright, like Christmas colors, just to show you that we can also change the background color and then the foreground uh, the text color as well with this. So it's a very easy effect to pull off. So let's go ahead and get started on this. First thing what we're going to do is as normal, we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a new uh, sequence and drag our footage in there. This footage is off a website called Envato Elements. It's a great place where you pay a monthly fee and you just get unlimited amounts of stock footage. Lots of fun stuff on there. If that interests you, check out the description and the link in the description below. So the first thing we need to do is we need to just go into our basically down here. We can also go up to file and go new, but I'm just going to use this little leaf here. And I'm going to create a transparent video. Once I have the transparent video created, I'm going to then drag it over. Now, there's a very important part here that actually can save you a little bit of time is when I go file new transparent, it's going to create one the same as the settings. Take note of whatever this number is, the time base. In this situation, it's essentially 24 FPS. Just take note of that and that's going to come in handy in just a second. We're going to take that transparent video and drag it over our clip. We can drag it as long as we want. If we have multiple clips, it'll work as long as it's the same one going across it. We're then going to go into our effects. We're going to look for something called a time code. It's under video and then time code. We're going to take that and we're going to drop it onto our transparent video right here. We're going to go down to the time code. We're going to make it a little bit larger. We're going to turn off that back symbol right there. We're going to keep the format the same right here. The motion picture standard essentially is what that is. We're then going to say we're going to generate it. That's going to start this timer at zero and give us control over the starting timer. And then we need to set this to whatever that number is that I told you to save. If you need to find that number as well, you can go to whatever your sequence is. In this situation, I created this one. And it should be near the front at frame rate. If you can't find it, right click and then go up into properties and it'll be printed out right here. And so again, this is 29.997 or 967. That's essentially 30. We're going to go non-drop frame. Drop frame is going to have this little thingy right there, and we don't want that for this. So we're going to go non-drop frame. Now, as long as these are matched up, your timer, when it begins, is going to go up by one. It's going to look exactly like this timer right here, and the time will be actually accurate. So now that we have this timer created, we're then going to want to sort of format this a little bit. What I'm going to first do is I'm just going to take the opacity right here. I'm going to drop it down to zero. So all we have is the numbers. Now, a lot of times you don't need this millisecond part over here, and you're not going to be able to get the milliseconds accurate. They're not going to go up to the numbers that you want. So what we really want to do is just work on the, the seconds, minutes, and hours. And that'll be like the, the most helpful part of this. So to do that, we're going to go into effects. We're going to look for an effect called crop. And we're going to drag and drop that onto the transparent video. Once we go to the crop effect, we're then going to go down here and we're going to look for the left. We're going to drag that up. If you click on the crop before you do it, you can actually see the wall and it makes it a little bit easier to track what you're doing. So right now I'm going to cut off the hours because let's say we're not going to be using the hours. And we're just going to keep the minutes, the uh, uh, the seconds, and then the milliseconds. Well, we also don't want the milliseconds, so we're actually just going to drag this over and take that off. So now all we have are seconds and than the minutes here. Now, if we play this back, you'll see that it's actually just a nice little county here. One, two, three, four. So then we're going to then try to change the color of this. To do that, we're actually going to need to look for an effect called tint. Drag that onto our transparent video. Then if we go to the tint effect up in effect controls, we have now a matte black and a matte white. Well, if we take a look and we bring that opacity to the background up, that's the only two colors we have. So now we have the ability to change this color to whatever we want. Let's say we wanted to make it a nice orange. So we can go in here, look for that orange, drop it there. And we're going to go ahead. If we want to change the background, we can do the exact same thing. So you'll, it'll just change that background color if we use the matte black. But we don't want to use that. So we're going to go to opacity. Then we're going to take this, the entire transparent video essentially. And you're just going to drag it up and position it where you might want it to do. So let's say we wanted it in the top right corner over here. Now we suddenly have a nice timer going and we can use that for really anything. A quick tip, if you want to modify this, if you want to make it go faster or slower, then all you have to do is right click on whatever holds it and then go into the nest. That's going to package it all up into another sequence. And then now you can actually go to speed and duration and do whatever you want. So if we want it to go twice as fast, you'll see that now the timer is moving two seconds for every one second. You can make it twice as slow. You can do any manipulation that you want by packaging it up and then using the speed and duration. 
to get what you want. Anyway, that is how you create a timer in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. Also check out our website if you are interested in our newsletter, which essentially just brings you some of the best tutorials of the week straight to your inbox. It's a great place to keep your learning going. Thanks everyone, and until next time, see ya.